was my sword ever so heavy? Age is a persistent foe. Ah! Ah! Be strong, father. I shall get you treatment at once. Saranoa, please. If I must go, at least it was alongside you. On the battlefield. Enough of this talk. You will yet live. I've seen scores of soldiers perish, my son. Death comes for us all. Does it not, dear Benedict? Forgive me, my lord. I could not keep you safe. I beg you, give the three of us uh, a moment together. As you wish, Eridor. Aye. are as dangerous as I feared. They must be wiped out for the good of all Glenbrook. There is no escape, Patriot. Tell me why a royalist like you would attack Lord Simon. Yes. Why would you threaten to tear asunder a newly restored Glenbrook? Restored? Restored to what? The duchy killed your king and controls your land, and you've what, exactly? The collected ashes of the royal family? Those who joined the duchy thrived. Those who resisted were ground beneath their heel. The nobles and commoners have never been further apart, though beneath it all. They are bound not by the king's memory, but greed. Perhaps. But we can unite them behind King Roland. The weakest link of them all. <laughs> the prince who forsook his family, a ruler in nothing but name if the people speak true. The Wolford reputation stains him, and it shall be his undoing. So that's your angle. Enough slander. You're blind to it. Admit it. You rebuffed the Esfrosti army, curried favor with the Saintly Seven, protected Roland, and immediately installed him as king. You think yourselves above the high houses of Glenbrook, nay, above his majesty himself. Who would not want to rid themselves of such a stain? You suggest King Roland gave the order? Would he possess such rationality? We would not be in this mess if he did. Thus I decided to intervene. For the good of the kingdom. So we need only kill you. That is a mercy. Well done, Anna. Only Benedict and I know what I'm about to tell you. I bid you listen well and remain calm. I am not your father. At least not by birth. You are the blood of our former King Ragnar. What? I promised His Majesty I would hide the truth from you. Forgive me. 
Destro was indeed your mother. That much was no lie. She was a commoner in the Crown City. A woman of little means and low station, but possessed of unparalleled intellect and boundless affection. He would often sneak out into the city in disguise. Fate united them on one of those evenings, and they fell in love. Thus, you were brought into the world. He wished to marry her, but her low station made that unthinkable. In time, the royalists found out and plotted her murder. So Lord Simon took her as his wife to keep her safe. And so I was born the heir of House Wolfort. Sadly, your dear mother passed not long after you were born. It was she who named you. It was the one thing she was able to pass down to you. And now I... I leave you this. The Royal Ring. Signet. Only one of Glenbrook's royal line may wear it. I was to keep it until the time was right. And so it is now. Father, you leave me completely unmoored. What am I to do with this unspeakable knowledge? I leave you with a heavy burden. This I know better than any. Be strong, Saranoa. Forge her own path. Lead the people. Keep watch over him, Benedict. I will. No, Father. Stay with me. Please. All this and still, you call me Father. I am proud of you, my son. Please don't go. Father! Please! You're upset? $100,000 on your name? That's disrespect? So Patriot meant to eliminate House Wolfort to protect the crown. Yes. He admitted as much himself. I can assure you he acted alone. King Roland was not a party to the plot. That is fortunate, yes. But the mere fact of it could tear Glenbrook apart were it to be made known. Lord Simon's assassination must be kept secret, my lord. You would have me say his illness claimed him then. I thank you for your assistance, Milo. Speak not a word of this to anyone. I shan't. For the good of House Wolfort. I cannot fathom why he thought us to be enemies. We mean no harm to the royal family. Misplaced as his fears may be, we must stand ready to defend ourselves, in word and deed, from any who may reach similar conclusions. That includes King Roland himself. You heard Anna. Roland didn't issue the order. What are you plotting, Benedict? I seek only to ensure House Wolfort's survival. Lord Simon was murdered. Other enemies may well be within our ranks as we speak. They must be stopped at all costs, no matter who they are. Can I count on your continued guidance, Benedict? Glenbrook's throne is yours for the taking. You have the claim and the might to back it up. 
Your Lord Father beseeched you to forge your own path and lead the people. Might you not best accomplish that if you were king? <sighs> Perhaps. But I would sooner fall upon my own sword than usurp the throne from my friend. The truth of my lineage does not leave this room. I shall keep it hidden along with this ring. <sighs> As you wish, my lord. I trust your judgment. I come bearing a missive from King Roland. He requests your presence in the Crown City immediately. The yes, Frosty survivors are on the move. They leave me no time to mourn. Lead the way. Dang. Dang, man. So, I figured that they would play the angle of us um, trying to uh, it's like the, the best way to say this. Like, play the angle of, you know, oh, we need to go up against Roland now. But I Honestly, wasn't expecting the whole King Regna was your father. That, that doesn't necessarily change anything. And, you know, in reality, it's such a minuscule detail that it doesn't really affect anything. But it certainly does make one think. Just, uh, just a little bit more. So they're they're gonna have to they're one hundred percent going to set up a conflict between Roland and Sarah Noah. That's that's gonna happen. They've ever since the war or ever since Roland became king, that is the the thread that has been uh, being pushed. Um, you know, choosing to help Roland, uh, Roland's having issues, you know, like that's definitely the line that, that we're going right now. So it's very, very interesting to see how they, uh, they try going about that or even if, you know, maybe they don't go that route. Benedict trying to become the new patri uh, Patriot. Yeah, it's, it's very interesting that Benedict would be wanting to push that as well. Like, why would we want any of the problems of being ruler of, of Glenbrook? That, that just, it seems a little too much. You know, we, we've already got our own problems. Plus, plus, let's not forget that Sarah Noah is... One of the saintly seven. So, uh, trying to get too much power is is very interesting uh, when it comes to Hyzant. Rolling his final boss. There was no way to guess. If anything, you thought Benedict was in love with Sarah Noah's mother. I I was actually expecting um, Simon to say. Your mother is alive. That, that is something that's been in the back of my head the entire time. And, you know, theoretically it could still be true. But uh, that's what I was expecting. Um, not, not, that, not that he's royalty. And th it kind of does beg the question too. Like, does Sarah Noah even have more claim to the throne? I mean... Was he the firstborn son? I don't know what, what the ages are of Roland and him, though. So I don't know. Roland has wanted to be the main character. You believe that's why he wanted to duel Avlora, to feel worthy. Uh, right, he's been facing issues. There's so much going on in this story. Also, him and Frederica are in similar situations. Very interesting thought there. 
I wonder, I wonder if this information would have been divulged. This, this is a, one of those turning points in a story where I think to myself, there's actually a lot of forking paths that, that can change where you're going from here. You know, I mean, like, sure, there's three, there were three paths to take, but any one of those paths could have forked off into something else entirely and not necessarily um, uh, be brought back to a center path. If we went with Frederica, you know, King Roland could theoretically be assassinated in Glenbrook and, um, and then the, the pops would have died. And we wouldn't have learned this information at all. We theoretically wouldn't have gotten the ring at all. If we went with uh, Roland, then like Frederica, Frederica's probably dead for all we know. She's probably kidnapped and taken to Esfrost. You know, it's, this is a, uh, this is certainly a very interesting turning point. Roland, Benedict, and Frederica regroup back in the capital. But what they experienced while they were away could very well alter the course of destiny itself. Still on 15. Is there something on your mind, Roland? Sarah Noah. I do not know what I should do. Did something happen in the capital? No, that problem has been dealt with. I've made sure those damned royalists will never cause trouble again. Was such harsh punishment truly necessary? Of course it was. When they should have been helping to rebuild the kingdom, they instead profited off the people's hardship. And on top of that, they sought to string me up as their puppet king. I understand, but... You know what they told me? They said that is what Glenbrook truly is. That it must be ruled with the royalist careful mediation between the royal family and their loyal subjects. They said good kings need not think for themselves. They said my father and my brother understood that. Even if that is true, you have the power to change it. I tried. That is the entire reason I took the throne. But nothing has changed, no matter how many corrupt aristocrats I've cast out. This kingdom has always been broken. As Frost's invasion just ensured we could never put the pieces back together. I do not have the strength to reconcile a land and people torn apart by hatred and greed. I cannot give Glenbrook what it needs. King though I may be. Roland. Apologies, my friend. I should not burden you with my woes. You burden me with nothing. But if you are struggling... All is well. Trust me. So long as you are by my side. Don't sound like it. They're setting it up as long as you're by my side. They're setting it up. Someone's going to cause a wedge between us. Saranoa, I would speak with you before we meet with the others. Is something the matter? I was led to believe the Rosellan village escaped all but unscathed. Pray, look at this. A book? We recovered it from a band of brigands. 
It once belonged to the Esfrosti archives. It was authored by one Orlea, my mother. Inside is the truth about the Roselle. Nay, about all Norzelia. The truth? How would your mother have that knowledge? The Rosellan people have long passed down the secret of the salt. My mother was a chosen keeper of that history. In ancient times, the Roselle lived in the southernmost reaches of Norzelia, in a place called Centralia. It is said Centralia was on the shore of a vast expanse of salt water they called the Sea. Back then, the Norzelia we know was at the bottom of that sea, but a cataclysm dried up all the water, and thus this land came to be. The salt crystallized and sank into the earth, the very earth we now walk upon. Salt beneath our feet. After the cataclysm, only one small lake of salt remained. War raged on and on as people fought to control it. The Rizal tried to stop the fighting by digging up a giant pillar of salt to show everyone the secret they had long kept. But Hyzant, whose power over Norzelia came from controlling the lake and the salt it produced, could not allow the truth to get out. They captured the Rosal, branded them criminals who tried to seize control of the salt for themselves, and confined them to the lake. And what of the pillar? Hyzant stole it and hid it, inside the very statue of the goddess that towers over the source. How can you be certain? During the uprising, my mother broke the statue and recovered a fragment of the pillar within. The salt crystal found in the Rosellan village. Incredible. If what you say is true, the teachings are a lie. This will shake Hyzan to its very foundations. And we would be able to free the Rosal from their imprisonment at the source. With so much at stake, we must be careful in what we do now. Frederica, I would ask for more time to think this through. Of course. I have every faith in House Wolford. And in you. So, if the red salt or the pink salt or whatever is in Hyzant, then there's... They still have the salt. <laughs> if Hyzant knew that, why would they care that we found that one rock salt? The salt underneath their city. I'm kind of confused by this. Uh, what are the odds a group of bandits happen to have this book? So earlier, um, a book was stolen from an S. Frosty library. Um, and they said it was a group of bandits and they didn't steal anything except for this book that was um, written by Frederica's mother but was sealed by magic. So... I'm not a hundred. I mean, I guess you have to play the mission to find out exactly why they stole it. Uh, but I'm. I I. I'd hazard a guess that. I don't. You know, I I don't even know. I don't even know. I mean, it doesn't change anything. This is wild. Frederica grasping at straws. This the Roland show now. Yeah, I. It, it, it's weird. If if the Pillar of Salt was somewhere else, it wasn't in um, Hyzant, then I could understand. You know, this would correspond with the knowledge that um, we have and also the theories that we have. But this kind of contradicts the theories that we have and it kind of contradicts why Hyzant would do the things that they were doing. I mean, granted, you know, Hyzant did feel a little bit of a struggle, so maybe they felt 
pressured, but at that time they weren't feeling that that pressure. So it's it's strange. We call that, but it's odd they would attack the village. Um, well, the the bandits that attacked the village were are the bandits from the very first mission. Uh, Trish and let's say Tom. I don't think his name is Tom, but um, so it's since since they were there to get the uh, like. To kidnap uh, Frederica, I'm guessing that's just, you know, they were either coerced by some other nation or they were there to capture her again or something. Travis, yeah. I don't know. This is strange. We need we need more more details. That is the extent of what happened during our various endeavors. The passing of my lord father the royalist scandal, and the book that revealed the truth about the Roselle and the Salt. It is time we consider what we shall do to overcome these obstacles facing us. I still cannot believe how quickly Lord Simon's condition worsened. It is most devastating. Saranoa, did your father say nothing else to you? Before he... <sighs> he... He bade me lead House Wolfort well. I see. Then we must all do what we can to help you honor that request. Your Majesty, what do you plan to do about the Royalists who misappropriated supplies? As far as I've been able to discern, those involved acted out of greed and self-interest. They must all be punished. Nothing less than exile from the Kingdom or execution will suffice. But there are those among them who support the Glenbrook line. Will that not impact your governance? Perhaps. But to pardon their crimes would kindle the people's ire. We must make an example of them. To appease the people. To make clear the consequences of engaging in such foolhardy behavior. Did something else happen in the capital, King Roland? Nothing you need concern yourself with. I think Roland knows. That Sarah Noah, um, as I guess his half brother or or of some such, um, especially with the conversation that they had near the fountain, it it feels like it feels like he's acting as if he knows. It's very very interesting. Uh, I guess maybe one of the royalists happened to know. And, and told him during that, that mission. I must say, I was shocked to learn of that Rosellan legend. Do you suppose the contents of that book could be true? The part about their homeland, Centralia, that sits upon a vast saltwater sea? That of the untapped salt crystals beneath Norzelia? Or that, in order to monopolize the salt trade, Hyzant fabricated the Roselle's sins? That the pillar of salt Hyzant stole from the Roselle is hidden within the statue of the goddess? If any of it is true, it would turn everything we know on its head. It would mean the teachings of the Holy State are not but lies. It does sound unbelievable, but we have already seen part of this legend for ourselves. The crystal from the Rosellan village? That crystal is a fragment from the pillar within the statue of the goddess. One my mother obtained during the uprising. It fits perfectly. Apparently, Lady Orlea penned the book detailing the legend for Frederica. She did. She enchanted it so no one could open it, but left me the key to break the spell. This pendant. I doubt a mother would go to such lengths to lie to her daughter. Then we agree the legend contains at least a seed of truth. Your Majesty, we have received word that the survivors of the Duchy's army are amassing. What? Where? At the Grand Norzellian Mines. But we cannot be sure what they are doing. None of our scouts have returned. These frosty dogs! We will speak later, Saranoa. 
First, we must put down whatever the duchy is planning at the mines. I need you and your people beside me. Of course. We shall ready ourselves for the battle at once. Bring out the scales. We will decide if we will help you. Meanwhile, inside the mines... Is it salt? We need to know what's inside the mines. Extraction is nearly finished. We've secured the amount we were told. Seems such a waste to just leave the rest. Don't think Archduke Gustadolf gives two shites. Hurry it up. We need to be done here before Glenbrook catches on to us. Sir. <laughs> Roland has had an M up on his head for a while. He's Luigi's brother now. <laughs> Game is so engrossing. It it's de I you know I, it it certainly makes you think what sort of stories a lot of the reviewers um enjoy, you know, on their their leisurely time cuz this story has been keeping me engaged for quite a long time. I, I think the start of the game is really a turnoff for, for people because it starts off with so much story. You know, when you go into a tactics game, you want to you do some tactics. But it's like an hour and a half of, of story or two hours of story. And then you, you, know, you get to do things. Um, and so I think that rubs people the wrong way and maybe that sticks with you for the rest of the game, but I really do feel like this game has done a really good job, um, keeping the politics manageable. And that is a very rare thing. Even in Final Fantasy Tactics, I was lost in a lot of the, the politics. So it's, 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 it's cool. It's cool that I can follow along. And when someone says Norzelia, I know what that is. Or if someone says Silvio, uh, whatever his last name is, I know who that is. And I know where that location is. It's, it, you know, it, it's cool. It's very cool. It's very self-contained, I guess. You know, there's only three regions. Or three, three regions, but like six, seven... Areas, anyways, it was cool. It was cool. <laughs>